Three Toronto City Councillors are banding together to stop the Ford government from taking over Toronto's transit, poking holes in the province's plans and telling transit users they're fighting back. Transit users filled the Metro Hall Rotunda this evening. Some were eager to join the fight against Premier Doug Ford's government, while others weren't completely against the province's recently unveiled Ontario line, set to be completed by 2027, two years earlier but at a higher cost. It's a really complicated process and I think there's a lot of work that's already been done that could be lost if we derail the whole process now. It's very important that transit plans not be partisan. So just because this transit plan was proposed by the province does not necessarily mean it's bad. I think it's important that we keep an open mind. The province does not have a rich history of delivering subways. Um, they have very little history and, uh, and proof of, uh, of delivery. It's actually the city of Toronto, and by way of the city of Toronto, it's the TTC that has built more subways in Canada, more delivery of subway and transit systems in Canada than anyone else, and certainly more than Doug Ford. On the eve of the province introducing legislation to upload the TTC, two other city councillors joined Kristen Wong Tem tonight in the fight to get transit back in the hands of the city. Mike Layton. There's going to be three more years of delays. There's going to be no progress in any of our lines, and we're just going to keep uh, waiting unless we start to stand up. And Joe Cressy. The new plan from Doug Ford will never be built. We will spend three years studying it, only to find out that it doesn't work. And one These councillors call the project unrealistic, raising concern that little is known about the province's plans and if it'll even be fully funded. Earlier today, Mayor John Tory said the city identified 61 questions and concerns regarding the province's transit plan, saying he is committed to communicate with the province. If you're not at the table, then you have no chance to register your concerns, short of standing in front of Queen's Park shouting at the building. And so we're there discussing in earnest with the provincial government how we can all get transit built. Now, what we are seeing... It's an approach Councillor Wong Tem isn't on board with. The message to transit users to fight, build an awareness campaign, and show taxpayers if the province has its way, they'll be losing more than just control of transit in their city. I'm saying to Mayor Tory, he cannot do that. Uh, we need him to rise and be tougher. What's your approach? I think we have to, I mean, my, my caution to the mayor is you've already been mistreated. You, the, that the premier has already disregarded everything that you've asked for, which includes deep consultation with the local community. Uh, City Council has already stated its position that we do not support a, a subway uh, upload or I would say takeover. The head of the union that represents transit employees was also in attendance today, concerned that they haven't been consulted, also saying transit should be in the hands of the city. We would like a seat at the table uh, with the city of Toronto, with the provincial government, with federal government. We don't, we, we're a major stakeholder here. The Minister of Transportation was set to make an announcement on the Young North subway extension tomorrow at 10 a.m., but later this evening we received a message from his office telling us that would be postponed. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.